Thank you very much. Today's video is about the pathogenesis of brucellosis. Uh, I'm clinician Birunj Revenas presenting it to you. Brucellosis is more of a zoonotic disease. What does zoonotic disease mean? It means it is a kind of disease which can infect both humans and animals. And brucellosis in particular is caused by a bacteria. And this bacteria is known as brucella. As we saw in the previous videos, you can check out for them. Don't also forget to like and subscribe. To also click the notification button so that we always notify you whenever we post new videos. So, as humans, we acquire brucellosis with the, from the interaction between us and animals or animal products from sick animals in particular. When the bacteria brucella enters into our body, it usually intubates there. This intubation may be characterized with no or minimal clinical symptoms for a period between two to four weeks. But this period can even go up to eight weeks depending on the volume of infective doses of the bacteria brucella that way that entered into our body. This means that the higher the doses of the infective agent, that is the bacteria, which you are, have been introduced into your body during an infection, the lower the intubation time. Therefore, the faster the rate at which the organism is going to multiply. We can continue. So, when we consider the, the general pathogenesis, the brucella is going to enter our body. This is going to trigger the. This is going to trigger and activate the body's immune system. And we are we know that in the body immune system, that's where we also find the macrophages, which are phagocytic cells. These are going to engulf the bacteria brucella. The engulfing comes in as an instinct for defense in order to defend the body. But they will not be aware that actually they cannot destroy the brucella because it will produce toxins against the phagocytes after engulfing it. It will also produce a coat around it which will protect it from the digestive activity of lysosomes produced by the phagocytes after engulfing the bacilli our coca our bacilli which is the bacteria brucella they will start multiplying in, in inside which result into increase in their number later the infection later during the infection so we we have seen that eh, First, what is going to happen? The engulfing. So, these macrophages are going to move and go to the lymph nodes. In the lymph nodes, further multiplication of the bacteria will occur. And then later, during the infection, they will move and go to the reticular endothelia and sorry, the reticular endothelial system, where they will start destroying the spleen and the liver. Further, they will infect the genitals. That's the tests for male, whereas in the female it will be the uterus. And in the case of pregnancy, it will be the placenta of the of the fetus growing in the mother's womb. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also click the notification button. We assure you you will always get the greatest content from us. Not only that, we also promise that we shall always put videos, around four videos, medical videos every week, detailed and properly explained. Thank you.